Hello and welcome everybody back to the dumbass class with me, the Dyslexic Gamer. As we carry on our playthrough of Atom RPG, where in the last episode we had uh, uncovered this uh, cave, I guess, and we were going to go and explore it. Uh, it was a world map event, so not expecting anything too much from this. Let's have some food to increase our health. We are addicted again, we're always addicted. It makes me so sad when I look at our characteristics. It really, it really does make me so sad when I look at. Oh. Oh, sadness. Sadness, sadness, sad. Wow, dog meat, you're nearly dead. Let's give you some meat, and we'll see if we can get you healthy again. Come on, dog meat. Eat your flesh. That's wrong. Ooh, give me the sweet, sweet roll. And you can eat one as well. Okay. I believe we are ready to go. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting this cat. Um, the bot's got a uh, better sniper rifle. Forward to victory? Huh. More gribbly grubbly things. More gribbly grubbly things. Okay. So is there an easier one to get to? Also, is there anything to, to loot in here? Don't think so. Shoot it in the head! Ooh. 64 damage and it is a... A bear cricket. Okay. Oh, there were more. Okay. Well, oh, shoot in the head again. Good. Excellent. Another one down. And another. This is quite nice. Again, I don't really like doing the caves. You can't... Ooh. Should have given that to Fidel. Never mind. Hexagon, you take these things. I don't know what it does. A large piece of chitin. Lightweight, yet very hard. That's all well and good. If I knew what I could do with it. But for now... Oh, I did pick that one up, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, I don't like that we're going to have to get quite close to these ones before we can act. I shoot that one? No. Ah, oh, you. Oh, wow. Hexagon did some good job, some good, some good shooting there. I'm very much impressed. Did I not hit? Hmm. Shoot him in the head. Thank you. And now he is dead. What, oh, we got one left? Two left. Uh, let's go for the back one. Oh. Give me a better shot. No. Will that give me a better shot? Yes. Ah! Oh, it didn't die. You shot dog meat for... What the fuck? Did it just reproduce?
Thank you. Well, even if it did reproduce, it didn't last long enough. And I think only dog meat was actually hurt. Oh. The dog meat, you take that. And we'll get you healed up. Oh, actually. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a little bit of a moment. Because I played... I played on my on my private game last night and it's got me all confused about why my people are not overweight and why we've got so much ammo and got this, that and the other. It's all good. So yeah, that seems to be it. There wasn't actually anything else in there but some the bugs. We did get some experience, so we can't really complain too much about that. But it's not too long until we get another level up. But sadly, we need to put pickpocketing up quite a lot. It needs to go up quite high. Did anyone else level up in this time? No, no, sadness. Sadness. So hopefully we are quite close to... Yeah, I can, you, you can just see it there. So this is an area that we do actually have to go to. So there will be points in this where I'll literally just disappear. Um, I'll go and do some stuff. And then I'll bring you guys back once, you know, we've got all of our... Insert X here. Well, like fangs and stuff. Because walking around the map is uh, is quite tedious and quite slow. Here we have a blood red lake. Kind of creepy. Kind of creepy. Was there anything else here or was it just this little campsite and... I think it might have just been... No, I... Th oh, yep, there it is. Always check graves. Graves are actually a surprisingly handy thing to uh, check out. I think there's some secrets. I'm not entirely sure. I think there is around here. We'll come to the grave first. And we'll have a little goosey gander. See what's in there. Okay. Let us have a look. Do I have a shovel on me or is it on? No, it's on someone else. So, ah, there we go. Diggy, 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 diggy. Diggy, diggy hole. Um... <laughs> Really? Was that all that was in there? Does it say who was there? You see... Something KG died 1989. Okay. Well, before we speak to the people here, Let's have a look around and see what's what. Some random junk that I really don't need. Is there actually nothing? Really? <laughs> Is it literally just these two here? Nothing else? Well... That's sad. I thought there'd be a secret or a stash or something around here, but I guess not. Well, that's kind of BS. Well, let's have a little chatty poo then with these people. A slender brunette raises... Raises 
at you, her blue eyes full of surprise and curiosity. It seems she's not afraid of you at all, even though she's run into you in a ooh, desolate place far away from any settlement and... Ooh. On. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know what that word is. Um, of any local uh, equivalent of police. The local equivalent of police. Yeah, I still don't know what that, what that word would be then. It's beautiful here. This waterfall runs through some mineral deposits that give it that deposits that give this colour to the water. It's just like tomato juice, right? <laughs> you know, people would also say blood. That's a bit of a weird portrait for a I don't know, something just seems odd about that portrait. Some other person might have compared it to blood. What brought you to this place? The girl sighs and... Cass? Cats? It should be casts. But... Okay. Casts a side look at the guy across from her. My partner's house... My partner... My partner's house has become too small for me and Erison. So we took the tent and moved out here. Maybe later we'll go someplace else. Personality. This is clearly not the whole story. No, I've told you everything. I'm ready. Um, I want to share. God damn it. I have saved the game since... Okay, hang on one. I'm going to be a scumbag. I'm going to be a scumbag. Even though it's good. Oh, I hate that deranged thing. It was funny being able to talk to the uh, cultists. It's actually a real, real pain in the ass. Turns out you need personality. Wait, this is Lobot. We are a man. Well, we're going to lose an intelligence, but we'll gain personality. Wait, we lost... Why did we lose dexterity? Minus one attack. Oh, yeah, it does say what minus one. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's clearly not the whole story. Success. Well, that's right. It's much sadder, in fact. My father's head of security agency in the castle nearby. My... Arsin works in Carvestian. Those plu... Uh, <laughs> plu... Those two places don't get along. And neither will be happy to learn about our love. So we're here now. We've run away. And we're about to move even further to Kostanch de Mini. Uh, where are you heading? Do you have any recommendations? I, they just said to... I've heard a lot of good things about Kostanch de Mini. There'll be a job or a chef uh, for... Azen, and a video parlour for me. So I'll watch films to avoid dying of boredom. It'll be much better than at my father's house. What, you're not going to get a job? Excuse me? Aren't you afraid living here? <clears throat> I'm not alone. I have my dear uh, is with me. 
he's the bravest and strongest man there is, and what a great cook he is. My chef. Ah. Oh. You know any sightseeing around here? There's an ancient castle not far away from here. It's beautiful, but I don't recommend going there. The king who rules there is cruel. Oh? I know how cruel kings can be. Our general... Secretary? Hanged... Ma... Hangman? Hangmen? Enemies of all good in the world. Bribes taken who, like parrots, spill empty promises and take and fake prophecies. You must not have met my dad yet. I eat cruel kings for breakfast. I do, I do, sometimes. Got any good rumours? I've heard Conscious Manny has a video parlor. You can watch any videos you want. I want to go there so much. You see films about love. Forbidden love. Okay. Little bit of a... Medicine. Okay. A lean young man with thick hair that reaches his shoulders looks at you with fight in his dreamy eyes. At least he's plucked up, plucked up courage, takes a deep breath and stand and starts speaking fast. Who are you? What's your business here? Just don't tell us. Just don't tell us we're bothering something or someone. I know it. It was a stupid idea. Listen. Oh, Jesus. I'm Arson, uh, a cook on the run. When my girlfriend and I decided to stay here, she swore this land belonged to no one. But if it's not so, we'll gladly leave leave the premises there's no need for violence i mean dude you're in the wasteland so if you had that i'm pouring more coffee into my cup um you're in the the, the wastelands uh, violence is always the first option hmm. shit stop whimpering i just want to talk relax i'm not going to drive you away do you really live in the live in this tent yeah we do so what despite my dear Aline's multiple shortcomings we love each other and when you love a man you don't need money to thrive a woman I mean when you love a woman I fucking I was looking at that that portrait going oh, there's something not right about that I don't know if it's just like you know an Eastern European every demographic in the world has a different genetic look about them you know maybe it was just that but we've already seen a girl who was dressed as a guy and here it clearly shows hmm how very romantic uh, would you be willing to answer some questions? Why did the chef stop uh, cooking? Um, he ran out of themes? Indeed, this was a stupid question. Uh, can you cook something nice? What can you cook in this damn forest? There's nothing here but roots, bark, and two cans of meat, Alice... Alyssa bothered to take from her home. No means Noah. Hmm. What's the story with the waterfall? I don't really know, but my girlfriend says the stone above gives it the co uh, gives this colour to the water. It's beautiful, but a bit scary, like blood. 
Well noticed, young man. This is indeed blood. My blood. The blood I, the martyr, spilt in this camp. Falling trees in squalor? Squalid barracks that drown in snow in the Brazilian wildlands? Oh, it is? It's scary, really. Well, sounds creepy. You share some rumours with me. <clears throat> you know, I once saw the renowned mutant hunter reveal uh, revealing of Stilgas larger than life. That's how lucky I am. The tavern I worked for I worked for then hired him. What a man. Six foot tall, hair white as snow, eyes yellow, his his underwear put over his pants and two <laughs> AKs behind his back. A silver one for mutants and a steel and wood one for people. Though he messed up our roof as he hunted a roof as he hunted? So we didn't pay him. God, he swore so much, and when he realised all his swearing did nothing for him, he started begging us, said he needed to take mutation, mutations, mutagens regularly. I suppose this is his nickname for booze. Yeah, he didn't leave until the guards gave him a good... thrashing? Crap, I would never have found a lit... found a litre of mutagens if he'd given me an autograph. Interesting. Okay, I don't really know what that's... about. Indeed, I was charged with finding you. The cook tenses up, clenching his fists and sticking out his chest. I'm well aware who could have sent you for me, but I can tell you I'm not coming back because I found my love and happiness. But don't tell him where or he'll find me and beat me. So you're not going to return? Never. I found my love. Interesting. Let's quick save it. Does this change now? A slender tiny brunette raises her huge blue eyes full of suspicion and curiosity at you. The guy across from her, on the other hand, casts a suspicious look at you and throws a couple of branches on the fire. Hello, is there anything else I can do? Is there anything else that you want? I'm amazed by this water. This is a miracle. It's so red. Like... Roa berries? In autumn? I don't know what roa berries are. Okay, interesting. We can't actually get him to leave. Interesting. But turns out he's running away with a... <laughs> with a it's actually, it's quite surprising. I didn't think Russians like, you know, liked... Um, the LGTPQRXTYZ community. Sorry, I'm not taking the piss. If you want to be gay, be gay. That's fine with me, but stop adding letters and numbers to your... You just sound silly. What's happened? Have we crossed the half of no return? I don't know. Yeah, by all means, I'm I'm one of those people who... Be free, be happy, 
Do what you like as long as you're not hurting another another person, animal, or child. But fucking hell. Yeah. It's a bit silly when you hear hear their uh, abbreviation now. But we are nearly at the time when the episode should stop. So we're going to have a wander about the last five minutes. A little chat. See what we can find. See if we stop becoming addicted. Or if I have to use um, use my last very expensive drug. Ooh, caravan. Yeah, I did not really... I, I, did, I thought there was something wrong with that uh, with that portrait. Yeah, I did think there was something up with it. It didn't look right. But I didn't, I didn't think it was going to be, I don't know what, a trans person? Uh, I, I don't know what the wasteland would, would can, how the post-apocalypse <laughs> would, would define these sorts of things. Uh, just a Makarov pistol. Although you need 60 for it. Um, do, do, do. We will take the food, because why not? I guess I will take the paper, because we're going to need that. But other than that, I guess I'll take, take the ammo, because one day we will need it. They do have a thousand. They do have a thousand, so, you know. I mean, technically I can sell that for 260. Um, but I think after that, oh no, we have got some, these things clearly aren't worth much. I don't need the pistol, I do like the tricorned hat, and we'll keep it for the plus 10 survival. Because there will be times when we will need these types of uh, items. I can't believe I've got another body armour. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Cool. Because we do actually need to build up our money supply again. Because our money supply is quite low. Considering it costs another thousand, fifteen hundred to get back. We are definitely going to need um, the extra money over here. We still haven't been attacked by any wolves yet, which is also annoying. Hungry. Marvellous. 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 Oh. Fidel. Uh, dog meat, you can have four, and I'll have four. Roasty, roasty. I mean, admittedly, it is worse with glutton. Glutton, you are stopping a lot off, a lot more, uh, a lot more often. But then that extra endurance is well worth it. If I had another like sixty hours to put in, would I start the game again? I probably would. You know, I have actually thought about starting the game again. Which does say a lot for the game. It is good enough that, you know, it is worth playing again. It's just, I don't really have the time. Oh, I wonder if the shield is equipped the whole time. That would make shields better. See, I've always thought that you had to have the shield equipped... in your primary slot to get any benefit from it. It looks like he's got it in his secondary and still got the benefit of it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kill them. Kill them all. Can I get you in the eye? I can get you in the eye. It didn't kill him. Swine. Uh, 
I mean, we should be perfect. Ooh. 17 per So, this... That gun can be quite nice if it's done on automatic, it seems. Oh, sorry. Um, sorry, I saw something there that was like, uh, did he just die? But no. Um, to the head, please. Pop. Oh, what? Our gun is not doing nearly as much damage, damage as... As I would hope. Like, my other character with the dragon off is doing so much more. Fine. Bring out the dragon off. To the eyeball. No, no. Still didn't. Maybe it's because my, uh... I haven't got as many points in, in it as uh, my other character. <laughs> oh no, I think I took 12 damage. I think, uh, sorry, not me. Uh, Hexagon took 12 damage. Pop his head, will you? There we go. Pop it like a pimple. He took 8 damage. Oh, they've leveled up. So I was thinking... Why have they only got 17 experience points? No, it's 17 experience points available. Oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? Did I, like, mess up badly? No. No, not yet. Uh, so that's your body. Yeah, we'll have a look at their uh, what we can do with them in a minute. Uh, tire armor, crap, cast iron shield. It, it's good for extra shielding, but eh, you lose your dodge completely, and that sucks. I don't want any of that. I don't care. Uh, Alexander, I'll take that, I'll take that, and then I will eat this, because why not? Uh, this stuff is all well worth taking. I think Hexagon needs that ammo. Always take. Always, always, always take coffee. Oh, you've got some drugs. I always say yes to drugs. Some more food. And sure, why not? Let's take the uh, crossbow and the leather armor. Have a quick snack. Actually, uh, yeah, go on then. I get a load of health if I do that. Um, now, we want to find the exit. There it is. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure why I can't speak to... Why I couldn't, like, convince him. But now we'll say her. But now we'll say her. Well, no, should we? The postman, <clears throat> a package. Ooh, a caravan. Finding a lot of caravans. <clears throat> um, he ordered some fangs. Oh wait, that's not even a real quest. Really? I don't think it's actually a real quest. Because there's nothing on there. Very weird. Very strange. Well, let's have a quick word with this dude. And then what I'll probably do is... End the episode off after we've uh, had a look what uh, what goodies he has for us. Basically nothing. Basically nothing. So we'll sell off some of our... Oh, uh, we don't really have that much too. Well, no, we have loads to sell off, but it's just... He doesn't really have all that much for us. So we'll we'll add that on as well. And then take all of his money, I guess. Seems about right. But yeah, I will end the episode off here. And what we'll do is I'm going to do some stuff off cam, off screen. Um, basically do a bit of uh, walking around, collecting of fangs. And when we get to the old castle or another place of interest, I will bring you all back 
for the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I certainly hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, and yeah, you're looking forward to future episodes to come. So, take care everyone, and as always, bye-bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.